Well, let's switch gears for a second. Since our last interview, the whole Kendrick and Drake battle happened. Right. After the dust settled, Kendrick was the clear winner. To me. I think to everybody. Right. Well, even if you look at the streams, the right. numbers speak for themselves right. as well as the impact of the song. How'd you feel about Compton having an anthem that big, which really, when is the last time Compton really had a song that big? It's been a minute. Since Dr. Dre mentioned Compton and Long Beach. Yeah, pretty much. Um, I haven't been game banging 22 years. Um, I really don't have no feelings on it, but if they can fix what's going on in Compton now between the power rules, then I'm all for that. I, I, I don't have nothing to say, nothing bad to say about how they moving and trying to stop what's going on. You know what I'm saying? I say this, um, and I don't know if they hear me, but the mob and looters shouldn't be where it's at today. So all of them should get in that march. All all the Pyrus in Compton should should want to walk that walk and and get it back to what it used to be. Pyrus in Compton didn't fight like they do today. We weren't killing each other like we kill each other today. And what they gotta realize is everybody everybody hood, we done all lost somebody from the hood, from our hood, and then they lost homies from their hood. Stop. Like, let it go. We even. Let it let it fucking go. Let it go. Grow the fuck up and, and show these little cats that this ain't what it's supposed to be right now. You know, but they if you continue no, it's some homies that that I hear is trying to fix it. Well, just recently YG had a, a peace walk. A true swap between the treetop pyrus and the fruit town pyrus. And that's a good thing. They trying to fix that side of town. So that's different than Mob Pyru. Yeah. So was Mob Pyru is there a reason why they weren't included in that in that walk? No, I I believe they would have been included if they went. But the mob is at odds with and and the majority of all the, the bloods out there are at odds with somebody, a Pyru uh clique. In Compton, which I don't, I don't know if the older guys are telling them this ain't how we used to be. And if if YG and Game could put that together and no fights, no nothing, you got a fighting chance. So they put their money where their mouth is. Yeah, I thought it was dope. Yeah, I thought it was really dope. Now Kendrick is headlining the Super Bowl in New Orleans. Right. And a lot of people are upset that Lil Wayne. I would be too. And I remember I was on Twitter one day and I said, well, to be fair, and, and I, I think that Wayne should perform as well, but I said, has the act during the Super Bowl halftime ever been tied to the city where they were actually playing the game and people pointed out that the Dr. Dre Super Bowl halftime show happened in L.A.? So... There you have it. Snoop if, was there if, and Kendrick was there and, you know. Let me ask you this. Do Lil Wayne represent his town? Is he helping people in his town? Is he building out there? Not that I'm familiar with. Okay. In fact, I believe he moved to Miami at one point and never, I'm not saying he never came back, but he moved out of New Orleans a long time ago, along with Birdman and the rest of those guys. But, well, they should be the ones that represent the Super Bowl. See, every, and I ain't saying Kendrick greedy or nothing, and it's an opportunity for him. I mean, it's a hell people, of an opportunity. Yeah, and people people love Kendrick Lamar. Well, right now, you could clearly say Kendrick is a way bigger artist than Lil Wayne. Right. Right so, now. What I'm saying is, can Kendrick Lamar talk to Lil Wayne and they do it together? See, this is what we don't know how to do is work together. Mm. And instead of going and, and, and saying, fuck Kendrick Lamar, y'all creating some bullshit. Because if you want to talk like that, some of them say no no, no love lost for Kendrick, but fuck that. It should be this, which I, at that point is, is true. 
Lil Wayne should be a part of the Super Bowl if it's there. Well, you never know. Wayne may do a cameo appearance. Now, I know it's not the same thing as headlining, right. but at the end of the day, from what I was told as well, was that because you know, everyone likes to blame Jay Z for this. They're like, oh, Jay Z has a grudge, this, that, the third. But from the news that's circulating, Jay Z submits a short list to the city where it's being done, and the city itself decides who the performer is. So the city itself chose Kendrick over Lil Wayne. So, you know what I'm saying? And well, I mean, if that's what it is, that's what it is. But, but could Kendrick say, Man, I, I respect you, OG, and, and, and you've been here a long time. Can we do it together? Can they do it together? If not, then, I mean, they chose. Well, yeah, I mean, that happened when 50 Cent performed during Dr. Dre set. And, you know, Tony Yeo talked about this. He called Jay-Z a hater because I guess Jay-Z didn't want 50 Cent performing, but Eminem, who was one of the featured performers that night, said that I'm not going to perform unless 50's on the bill. Right. He put his foot down. Let and it be everyone the same wanted way. Eminem, so they're like, okay, fine, we'll do it. Right, let it be the same way. Yeah, I mean, look, Kendrick could, Kendrick's got a lot of power right now. He could he could pull that, that card and say, I'm not going to do it. But then again, pulling that card might say, okay, cool, we'll go with our plan B. <laughs> we'll get Drake. <laughs> and that'll be the end of that. I think they can work it out. I think they, they can work it out, but at the end of the day, when it comes to business and popularity, Kendrick does make sense right now. So who can be mad? And why would I be mad? A lot a, a lot of these artists have, have put shit to the side and went and took that bag and got that bag. So what makes it different right here with Kendrick? I mean, it could happen. Yeah. It could happen. 